welcome to Super Penny Land, where if I paid attention to what I was doing, you'd be seeing me on a brand new camera right now. You may remember the other day I mentioned that I was ordering my brand new camera. It has arrived, and it turns out I ordered the wrong one. I ordered a very similar camera, which was the first one I decided on, and then I actually changed my mind to make a better choice that would have just worked out much better for me, and it was actually cheaper. I ended up, when I ordered it, not paying attention and buying the first one, and it finally arrived, and I was very, very disappointed in myself. However, the company does have a great return policy, I can definitely get it swapped for me. It may just be a little longer until the new camera arrives, which does give me time to sort out the microphone situation as well at least. But that's enough about me, on to the news! So yesterday an indie games company called Greenheart Games released their very first game offering to us, Game Dev Tycoon. While the game is being offered for $8, which really isn't a huge amount to ask, the developers also decided to upload a cracked version of the game onto a torrenting site just to see what would happen. They ended up within minutes having a whole number of people downloading from all over the world, so the torrented version was quite the success. However, the developers did make some slight changes to this cracked version of the game. While it is very similar, after about three or so hours of establishing the game's company as a success, players will find that in-game players are pirating their games and there's nothing they can do to stop it. There's no chance to research a DRM to improve that, there's no chance to kind of make gamers more loyal towards your company, it just kind of continues until the game company's funds kind of dwindle out and they go bankrupt. Some of the game pirates even took to the game's official forums to complain about this, saying that it was ruining their in-game companies and that there was nothing they could do to stop it. It turns out that around 94% of the day one players of Game Dev Tycoon were in fact playing the torrented version of the game, and while it must be nice to see that they're dealing with piracy in their own games and seeing how frustrating it is, it also can't be a great feeling for the game's developers who spent a year of their life making this game and uploaded it not asking for much, I mean $8 is really not a huge amount for a game that does offer hours of gameplay. This really brings to light the amount of players who will go out and download a game even from a small indie company who really need their support. If you are interested in helping out the developers of Game Dev Tycoon, check the link in the description for the game's official site. It's also on Steam Greenlight, you can go ahead and vote for it there. Watch Dogs has finally received a release date of November 19th this year, along with a shiny new trailer for the game. The new trailer introduces us to a new character with some crazy cheek piercings, as well as the protagonist Aiden Pierce's raspy manly voice. Watch Dogs is one of those games that I haven't been paying a huge amount of attention to, but I have been watching from the corner of my eye to see what it's like. It looks like it's pretty interesting, the trailer looks like what the game is promised to be, and it looks like we'll be getting it later this year. Watch Dogs is also going to be available for the PlayStation 4 upon its launch, along with any other upcoming next generation consoles, presumably the next Xbox that's being announced on May 21st. And finally for today, CCP Games, the creators of EVE Online, have announced that EVE is going to be getting its very own television show, with storylines inspired from players' very own in-game experiences. CCP Games have teamed up with an Icelandic production company in order to make this series. They've also announced a partnership with Dark Horse Comics to make a comic series that also features the same in-game experiences from players. If you happen to be a player of EVE Online, head on over to truestories.eveonline.com to submit your very own stories and see if they make it into the show. Personally, I will not be submitting any stories to this because when I tried EVE, I spent several hours in the character creation screen only to jump onto my spaceship and become the most confused. It seems very fun and very expansive, but it's way too, way too complicated for me, so congratulations if you play EVE and understand what's going on. But anyway, that is all the news that I have to share with you guys today, so thank you as always so much for watching. Please remember to like and favourite this video if you enjoyed it, and you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr for more updates from my life. I guess that's everything, so I'll see you again soon for more gaming news and videos. Bye!